फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर स्पीकर सर आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ओन अ वेरी रियलिस्टिक बजट प्रजेंटेड इन पार्लियामेंट आई एम श्योर द पीपल ऑफ गुजरात आर गोइंग टू जॉइन मी इन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिंग द गवर्नमेंट फॉर सेविंग देम फ्रॉम अ हाई डोज ऑफ टैक्सेशन एज वॉज परपोज बाय द प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट इन द स्टेट सर आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ मैंशनिंग अ फ्यू थिंग्स मोर विच आई वुड नोट प्रोबेबली हैव बीन एबल टू डू एज दीज आर द स्टेट सब्जेक्ट्स बिफोर द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट गेव अ पावर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज अफकोर्स नोट इम्पोज द प्रेजिडेंट्स रूल बट वी आर अंडर द गवर्नर दीज डेज हैंस द स्टेट्स बजट वॉज प्रजेंटेड सर आई डो नोट नो whether it has been an oversight by the administration today or whether they have carried on what the previous government had mentioned i would like to be very specific here in mentioning about the sales tax that they have imposed on all fish and marine products in gujarat i do not understand the logic behind it as far as gujarat is concerned we have bigger coastline than any other state in india our maritime resources have not been exploited fully our fishery industry has still not reached the stage which could be compared with even the backward states of this country who are also maritime states there are other states like kerala where the fishery industry has developed long ago and it has come to the take off stage where from the inshore fishing they have now gone to offshore fishing even in those states where 50% of marine products are exported they do not have sales tax on fishing and marine products the gujarat government expects a revenue of about rupees 40 lakhs to rupees 50 lakhs by way of sales tax i am sure that they are going to ask you also that these taxes should be imposed on the traders and on the fishermen and not on industries we know that whenever such a tax is imposed it goes down to the fishermen the fishermen in gujarat are poor we recently had an example of the export duty levied on all wool that was exported there to gujarat was affected the argument given at that time was that this export duty was expected there to 
Gujarat was affected as such. The consumer of the marine product is not going to pay more. The trader is not going to reduce his profit margin. It is finally going to come down to the small fishermen. I plead that this growing industry in Gujarat should be released from taxation. On the contrary, they should have given more encouragement and incentives to this vital industry. Gujarat does not get fish only from the sea. It is probably the only state where inland fisheries have developed. The districts where inland fisheries are operating are the backward districts. The fish from these regions goes to Haryana, Rajasthan, MP and even Assam. We have to compete with fishermen from other maritime states of India and there is a very small profit margin left. Do you mean to say that the trader is now going to reduce his profit margin and allow the poor fishermen who are mostly Adivasis to carry on their profession. I do not know why this has been brought in. I only wish the government would take this more seriously and at the first stroke and abolish the sales tax on fish and marine products from the state. You can consider it later. I wish public opinion there is ascertained. The fishermen contacted and then this tax imposed. Why must Gujarat take the lead in imposing a tax which has not been imposed anywhere in the country while this industry is still undeveloped there. There are a few other points which I would like to mention. One is about development of tourism in Gujarat. Unfortunately, Tourism and fisheries are two subjects which have always been neglected by government of Gujarat. For almost a year, we do not even have a director of tourism. Note only that if you look into the budget, you will find that they have included tourism with publicity and information and have given it a very small budget. Gujarat has the potential of becoming a major tourist attraction center in the country. If our state government could take more interest in developing our beach resorts, I am sure the tourists elsewhere in the country will be flowing more towards Gujarat. Though I know that this is not the right place to mention about tourism, the state government may not consider this at all. I would only like this to be brought 
ऑन रिकॉर्ड दैट टूरिज्म शुड बी गिवन इक्वल इम्पोर्टेंस इन द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ गुजरात एंड आवर टूरिस्ट पोटेंशियलिटीज शुड बी फुली एक्सप्लोइटेड सर आई एम श्योर इफ द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टेक्स फुल केयर ऑफ टूरिज्म दिस स्टेट शैल प्रोग्रेस लाइक एनी अदर स्टेट स्टॉप